Take two posh brand new casinos and put one here next to the Meadowlands racetrack and here near the Liberty National Golf Course. It could happen if New Jerseyans vote to expand casino gaming beyond Atlantic City to northern New Jersey. And we would have a gem, a worldwide gem. We would put New Jersey on the map worldwide as a destination place. It would outshine Macau. That's Senator Ray Lesniak's gilded vision of opening casinos in northern New Jersey, and he's not alone. The market in North Jersey and New York is supporting other areas, and for us to compete uh, with these other destinations in Pennsylvania and New York, we're going to have to open up up here. So let's have a conversation about it, see if it makes sense. What happens with Atlantic City? What do we do to help support Atlantic City if we expand gaming to other parts of the state? When he called for a five-year moratorium on casino expansion, Christie had hoped Atlantic City's monopoly would help jumpstart its struggling casino industry. Instead of galvanizing the marketplace, Revel slid into Chapter 11 twice. The Atlantic Club closed, and Caesar says it will scuttle showboat next month. Every delay means loss of revenues, loss of jobs, more decline in Atlantic City. So I'm pleased that the governor and Senator Sweeney uh, have opened up the door to this. Among the stakeholders, the Casino Workers Union Local 54. It's fighting to keep Showboat open and save 2,500 jobs. President Bob McDevitt's take on a northern expansion, a casino in the Meadowlands, if it was properly conceived, could complement Atlantic City casinos in revenues and taxes. If it's poorly conceived, or if there's more than one casino, it would eat away at the market base and cost more jobs. Frankly, we would love to try to work with them. Meadowlands owner Jeff Garral wants to fast track a referendum and open his casino in East Rutherford before New York brings four more casinos online. He wants to help Atlantic City too. Maybe we could take some of the money that we would be paying in taxes and use it to help Atlantic City because uh, I'm clearly there are a lot of jobs at stake. I don't want to put Atlantic City out of business. Where would we put it? Well, that would be up to the people. That's why we need a referendum. And we should put a number of options on the, re on the ballot so that people will make that choice. Another point to discuss whether to put that referendum on the ballot in 2015 or push hard to float it this November. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News. Brenda standing by at the State House. Brenda, what's the likelihood of this issue getting on the ballot as soon as this November? Oh, the likelihood is pretty dim, Mary Alice. I did ask Ray Lesniak, what's the drop-dead date? He told me August 3rd would have to be the vote to put this whole question on this November's ballot. There has to be public hearings. Essentially, the timeline is far too crunched up for this to happen this November. However, I think if you look forward to November 2015, that's a safe bet. In Atlantic City, the marketplace has been cannibalizing itself. Why would it be different in Hudson and Bergen counties? They're looking at this as a whole new marketplace, apparently. They think that if they put together a couple of real show places, that they would be able to bring in customers from New York, from upstate New York, from Pennsylvania, from Connecticut. They see this as an untapped market, really, something that they would be able to take advantage of if they had a really premier venue. Down south right now, I think they believe that the Atlantic City casinos are indeed saturating the market, cannibalizing each other. Uh, when you think about the way we started the year. 12 casinos. We're now down to mm -hmm. about nine, Mary Alice. Okay, Brenda, thank you.